Hello guys, I'm Mavic Chris. Welcome back to another episode of Ocean's Heart. Let's begin by... Oh, okay. Hold on a second. This was not where I saved. And I remember that because we were about to do one of these side quests. And speaking of which, as I was saying, let's begin by reading or reminding ourselves of um, the current main quest and side quests. Oak Blight, we have to visit Ibistam. It is on the eastern edge of Oak Haven, past the Vilewood Forest. That's where we're heading. I should talk to the people in the city again. Maybe someone has new dialogues. Because I know there are a couple locked houses and I'm pretty sure the thief um, is in one of them both thieves um, to be honest with you the dog's portrait thief and the tic-tac-toe championship thief as well and regarding main quests we have to go back to Lotus Shoal and I think we will do that later. So, during last episode, we were heading towards um, Ivy Stump. Was that the name? Is it this way? I believe it is this way. I assume that... Okay... Do not fall into the water, please. I assume that if we go north, we will go back into the Vilewood. Okay. Also, remember we've got this new attack. I hope it is a strong attack. I remember that hole. I mean, I have been here. I think I shot that target in the middle of the status before. Wow, we've got max berries. And I'm pretty sure, let me check a map. I'm pretty sure we are not supposed to be here. And you know what? Just in case... I don't know what you did for us. Maybe. 
maybe you opened these? I don't know, I don't think you opened this for us. The problem is I do not recall whether... Okay, never mind. We have opened the chests here. However, I don't think I want to be here. So, back to the Bilewood, please. I remember that we came here, I remember that we went um, to that passage as well. Um, that's the wrong button. Hold on. Oh, arrows. I totally forgot you could get arrows for free in this place. Lavender? Um, I think we've never been here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Thank you for that lavender. Hello. Lamia. Hello dear, new face in town. You must have crossed through the Bilewood to get here. That's indeed the case. I did, I came here looking for someone who knows about the mana oaks. Uh-huh. You're getting sick and my friend is trying to help. She wrote a letter explaining what she's figured out so far. Take a look. She noticed the oak blight. I'm impressed with her observations, especially because the blight is starting to spread to other trees. I've been keeping an eye on the oak blight for several months, but I have no idea what's causing it. People used to say that the mana oaks were given to the sea king by the ocean herself, so he could shelter his people. The roots grow so deep that they draw water from the sea. Wow. A man named Amalanchir tended to the trees as saplings. His grave is in the Bilewood, in a grove of fir trees. 
If his spirit still protects the woods, perhaps you ought to visit his grave. I'm not a big fan of ghosts, but I'll give it a shot. Thanks. The blight on the forest has corrupted some of the tree's spirits. Be careful. Not sure what to make of that, but alright. And our quest has been updated. Quick look. Check a melon shears grave. It's in a grove of fir trees in the west of the Bylewood. So we have to go back into the Bylewood. Iker Paul. Ah, I haven't seen you around these parts before. I hope you haven't come to partake in the apple picking festival. It's cancelled. Good news, I sure didn't. You guys have an apple picking festival? It's a town tradition. It's honestly less of a festival and more of a way to get ourselves excited about working in the orchard. I've been the chief picker three years running, but this year the oak yard is infested with some monsters. Do you know what they are? But they pop out of the ground and getcha. You wouldn't perhaps be interested in taking on some work reading our ore card of this verming for say 80 crowns, would ya? Sure. Okay. Well, how do you like them apples? Excellent, get yourself on up to the north end of town, that's where the orchard is. There are three monsters, at least that's the best count I could take. Come on back when you're done and I'll pay ya. What about Peter? Ivy Stump is renowned. Re renowned? Okay. For its apple orchard. I have no idea how old the trees are, but my grandfather was also a picker, apple picker. But now something's amiss in the orchard? Something steers beneath the earth, like monsters, probably. We can't pick up the apples now. I mean, we could if we wanted to get eaten by monsters. But then the other choice is having no apples and starving to death. There's an old saying in the apple orchard, how do you like them apples? It doesn't really mean anything, but I think it applies. Old man, you must have come through the bylewood to get here. So you probably saw some of the ar Arborgeists? You know those wooden monsters? It said, it said that used to be they weed just trees and bushes? But a curse coming from the center of the earth got into their roots and turned them into monsters. Whatever they are though, the shine in the southwest corner of town keeps them away from the village. Oh, shrine southwest corner of town. Would like to take a look. The innkeeper, hello dear, welcome to the Ivan Stump bed and breakfast. We don't get a lot of travelers coming all the way through the Bylewood, so it's only the one bed, but you're welcome to stay. Would you like to sleep for 30 crowns? Okay, you know what? Okay. Thank you. It's 
some people say the Bilewood is the North Sea's oldest forest, but I don't know. Have you seen those ancient groves with blocky stone pillars scattered around them? Yes. They seem older to me, there's one on Marble Cliff and one in the Puzzlewood on Yarrow Mount. There could be more too, but that's just my intuition. Interesting, interesting. We can craft stuff here. Oh, we only got nine white man recruits. Is that the case or is it max we can hold? No, apparently we've got just nine of them. If you keep your eyes peeled in the Bilewood, you can actually make a decent amount just gathering plants and selling them. The Bilewood is full of treasure. And that treasure is nature's bounty. Also the friends you make along the way if you make any friends in the forest. Okay, lady with some apples. The crisp air means the ivy stump apple harvest is starting. Here have a sample apple. A sample? You collected an apple. It will heal two hearts. Thank you so much, but I had 30 of them already. You know, my granny said the forest used to be full of mandrakes, but when the apple ore card was planted, it drove them off and they fled to Marble Cliff. Makes sense. I think it's just folklore, but there aren't any mandrakes in the Bilewood. Heh <laughs> heh heh. Hello lady, you were a shop owner. Good day, have a look around. Okay, you've got the same stuff as any other shop. Okay, let me guess, you will upgrade my stuff, except that it's already maxed out. Or I do not have Coral Orb. I didn't think this would work, but I had a dream where hammers were more effective than saws. And I woke up needing to test it out, just to be sure. Okay, never mind then. Lore? It appears someone was reading a pulpy detective story about a lumbering villain. Is that all? Okay. Wow, what was that explosion though? I guess I must kill another one of them. Um, there he is. Completed. Oh, okay, that rune though. That rune. What are you exactly? Also, cute little birds. This is the Bluetooth rune. Also, there's a way to the right. 
over there. Oh, where did the guy go? Hey, while you were off fighting the monsters in the orchard, another one burrowed out of the ground and snatched Paul. It went back down that hole. Can you rescue him? I mean, I certainly can't. Guess you could leave him to die, that's your prerogative. Stop it, I'll go get him. Um, through, oh, through this hole. Okay. No problem. Wait, monster guts? More monster guts? And even more monster guts? Okay, hello. You looks like it wasn't just the three monsters in the ore card. But you know what? I kinda like it down here, it's nice and cool. Might start using this place to store apples after we pick them. This could really be useful. Anyhow, here's what I said I'd pay ya. Plus a little more since ya kinda saved my life down here. And found an apple seller. Thank you so much. Also a armor, some armor, slightly better than the one we have. Thank you. Yes, yes, this will make a fine place to keep apples cool and crisp over the winter. You really gotta hand it to those monsters. They know how to dig a useful hole. Okay, you're welcome. I wonder though, if I go back down, will this place be full of monsters or full of apples? And I guess the answer is full of apples. Wow, okay, do you have new dialogue? Okay, no, not really. Okay, so this is the shrine, correct? It's not like I can do anything over there though. We went that way, we came this way as well. You look kind of different. That means I'm gonna place a bomb. Just in case, you know, we have to make sure. Although there's another one of those little ones over here. So I guess it was nothing at all. The birds, the Bluetooth shrine. What else? Maybe over here? Oh! Look at that! Oh, we meet again. Dude, I can't get enough of the bird song around here. And how does the whole town smell like apples? Anyway, you want a ride somewhere? Uh, no, I'm good. I just wanted to unlock your fast travel thing. Okay, um, quest. Okay, we have to visit the grave in the Bilewood Forest. And 
and I believe we have been there already in the past. It's this one right here, right? It's an old tomb. The writing on the gravestone is where not. Okay. So I believe that did not happen before. Okay, this looks like a place where to put a bomb. Also use the spell, just in case. The spell did nothing. We can also do nothing about that tomb. You know, just in case. Also, the ether bombs, we never used those. What? I thought I took care of you upstairs. All right, buddy. What? This is a good moment to use our ether bombs. Okay, okay. Ether bombs are cool. Um, so you're telling me there's nothing over here? Just the fight and that's all? That makes no sense. I wonder if an ether bomb can freeze water. Okay, it doesn't. Okay. I thought I might find you here. Did you feel that earthquake? Yep. It happened right as I destroyed some monster down in a Malenshire's tomb. Something in the forest has been upset. I think you should go check the mana oaks. I just have a feeling. Okay. Investigate the three mana oaks in Oak Heaven. Vilewood and Marble Cliff. Okay, we are already in Vilewood. So where's this tree? That's the tree right there. Ah, 
how do I get to you though? Through the ruins? How do I get to the ruins though? Oh, never mind. Okay, just follow the dungeon. You know what? Let's let's also save. Okay. I mean, I thought something else would have changed here. Maybe not. Um, can we dash? through these bomb-looking things? The answer is no. We can not destroy them either. Okay. I don't think a bomb would work. So I believe we have no choice but to investigate the other ones. Why did you fall? Okay, nicely done. Now I need to check the tree in Oak Haven. it was up here wow sure wasn't expecting to find you fighting monsters in these tunnels yeah I was trying to see if the blight would respond to elixir vitae when the entrance to these tunnels opened up I read that the mana oaks roots grew all the way down to the sea yep these tunnels must wind down along with them. And then I think obviously the fact that there are monsters running around here is why the trees are sick. Yep, that's what I was thinking too. Well, I don't mind fighting a monster here and there, but I'm going to let you take it from here. Meet me at the Mana Oak in Oak Heaven once you've figured out this monster thing. Uh, you mean right past this door? I will see you there, I mean... It's right where, <laughs> where I came in from. Oh, it's connected to the other one? I mean, I know they are all connected, but... You know what? Yep, 
that was a sin. I'm feeling the <laughs> the frame drops. What's going on with you, game? Hold on a second. Okay, I have no clue, but it feels better. So now to marble cliff. Let's use some of these berries. We've got plenty of them. I will go back for those. This must be the way to an up the mountain. Okay, it's been done. Oh, coral ore. So we've got an entrance over there. Also something else over there. Um, is this where Hazel was going to be? Anyway. You received a Malin Shears Wrath. This spell consumes much of your magic power to summon the Wrath of the forest to aid you in battle. Okay, finally we have our second spell. And I would really like to test it. Also, will we appear in Oak Haven? Okay, apparently the answer is no. Or maybe the answer is yes. How did it go down in the tunnels? There were a whole bunch of monsters all around the tree's roots, but I took care of them. Down at the center of the tunnels, there's some old shrine where the oak's roots grow into a pool of salt water. It seems like the kind of plant thing you might like to check out. Wow, that's entirely accurate. I'm going to keep studying these trees. It seems like they have a lot to do with the entire ecosystem's health. That might be the case indeed. Here, thanks for your help. I think you might find this useful as you look for your dad. Really? An elixir vitae? Anyway, thank you so much. 
Okay, Oak Blight, it's been done. Ivy Stump, Ore Card, it's been done as well. Now, I would like to find some monsters. Because I would like to test my recently acquired spell. The Wrath of a Malenshear? Wrath of the Forest? Let's see. Alright. Alright. Probably I will keep the the tier. So what's left for us to do, huh? We could obviously go to Fort Crown. But I feel if we do that, we are missing Tic-Tac-Toe Cham and Dog's birthday. So I would like to talk to all of these guys again. Although I'm not reading the dialogue necessarily. It's not you, you're a salesman. Hold on a second, I... I... Okay, I mean, we did this puzzle before, it's fine, it's fine. Now oh, you are Blackbeard? No, you're the vice captain. Oh, it's it's that guy. Okay, I remember that. Did you have anything for me? Did you find Hazel? I did. So I believe nobody down here has any clues on the burglars. So what about you guys? Not in the bomb shop. Dog, Tic Tac Toe Champ. Hello, go up those stairs to the northwest. And you'll find what's probably the oldest tree in the city. Okay, thank you. The guard. Okay. 
Okay, Telia. I mean, not Telia, Hazel, sorry. Haunted something something horse. I've been to the library. I mean, I just want clues on the burglar. It's so weird that nobody here know, know anything about either of the burglars. You? One of you must know something. Welcome, looks like you arrived just in time. I mean, I did already read the dialogue as well. Tic Tac Toe Champ. Did you find? I'm still looking. I've got the town guards on the case too. Oh, <laughs> there's a pile of orange peel here. A very large pile of orange peel. Someone would possibly remember selling this many oranges. So it was here all this time. Um, who would sell oranges? Maybe you? You? Come on, who sells the oranges? Acorns? Pickled baggies? Nope. Come on, tell you what, I'm selling tea, okay, this guy sells tea. Up on the terrace, that also sells produce. But the oranges he has up there are good too. Up on the terrace. Terrace? Terrace? That would be you, my friend? No, it's not you. Come on, who sells the oranges? Oops. You? I'm actually looking for someone who might be one of your customers. A girl who buys a whole lot of oranges. Oh, you probably mean Aubrey? I actually deliver a box of oranges to her daily. She just stole a lot of money from the tic-tac-toe championship guy. I'm trying to find her. Goodness, well, I must do my civic duty. 
here, take this box of oranges and impersonate me. Her house is just south of here, that green roof by the ark. She should open up for oranges. Okay, you mean this house right here. Who is it? Orange salesman, box of oranges here. You don't sound like yourself, well come on in. Aha! Hey, you're not the orange guy. Wait a second, do I know you from somewhere? From the tic-tac-toe championship? Oh no, you'll never take me alive, copper. Right, you got me. <laughs> I did take a hit from that last orange though. Oh no, look, I can explain. My dad runs an orange orchard and times have been really tough. I wanted to help him out. So you just stole a bunch of money? No, I... well, yeah, I did. Oh, clearly you're here to do something about this. What do you want? Eh, okay, tough choice. You, you know what? Okay, look, just keep it. I don't really have a horse in this race. If this is how you want to fund a struggling orange ore card, with stolen money, I don't know how to run an ore cart. That's your business. Really, thank you. You don't know how much this will help us. Please come by the orange ore cart if you ever find your way to Ficonos Island. We will pay you back somehow. Don't worry about it. Just watch out for the tic-tac-toe referee. He seems like a fighter. Okay, um, I don't know if that was the good choice, or the best choice. Hold on, where's, where's my tic-tac-toe side quest? Oh, side quest, of course. You let Aubrey keep the prize money. Aubrey told you to visit her orange orchard on the road to the Isle of Love. On the road to the side... No, wait. On the road to the Isle of Love. That was correct. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Did you find that girl? I'm still looking. Um, okay, so apparently that's the end of the quest. <laughs> and it's also the end of the episode. Poor girl, now she will be banned for life from the Tic Tac Toe Championship. And this guy right here will be looking... I'm sorry, right here. This guy will be <laughs> looking for her forever. Was that worth it? I don't know. I don't know, but I feel it was the right thing to do. She needed the money. I mean, I would have refunded the, the referee. I bet it was like 200 crowns, maybe. It's not worth 200 crowns. Um. But I, I believe probably we will get a, a better reward once we find the Isle of... of, of what? Of love? Piconos Island? Anyway, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider clicking the like button and why not watch the next episode. Thank you so much guys and I will see you next time. Bye bye!